Welcome back. And initially, we're going to take a look at the new mutagen ooze, uh, which includes a surprise turtle. And it appears that one of the slime will come in one of three colours. Uh, I like the canister look, it's a nice touch. Uh, very reminiscent of the 2012 ooze, uh, which I have a canister of here. Um, yeah, turtles and ooze slash time have gone together since the beginning. Um, not every line has taken into account. Oh, I'm just locked on for figures. Oh well. Um, it hasn't taken into account using ooze or slime in the releases. Um, but in my opinion, those lines which have have always been the more successful ones. The original 80s, the 2012 line used ooze quite a bit uh, with a lot of uh, its. Uh, vehicles and play sets using those features um, so it is really nice to see this brought back in um, while I don't have the playset I do know that the playset does incorporate the ability to use the use in it um, I don't think the vehicles do which is a bit of a shame would have been nice to have had some sort of play features in the vehicles which allow for the use of the ooze uh, the 2012 line I know while I didn't collect them did have that in a lot of its vehicles so that was a nice touch uh, let's take, open the use and take a look. Look, um, from what I've seen, the lid just pops off. And inside we have our baby turtle. Uh, looks Based on the colouring, I would say that's supposed to be Donnie. Uh, which is a different design to the one which comes with the figures. How that plays into the film, obviously we don't know yet. Um, I like the fact that the shelves are painted. It would have been very easy to have this in a single colour, but Playmates have taken a nice little extra touch and given us a, uh, a paint app. Whether this is indicative of all of them or just the mine, but you can see the paint app doesn't cover the shell completely, uh, which is a shame, but again, it's not going to be a deal breaker, and it looks like the same's happened underneath. Still, for a solid little piece of plastic, it's a nice little figure. Uh, inside, you have the solid lid uh, cap, which is the same as the old 2012 line. Let's pop that off and take a look at what we can. And here we have the green coloured. Uh, so you can see from the green coloured slime, that's sort of a radioactive colour. Uh, there's a slight pearlescence to it, but um, there's definitely a more pearlescence look in the 2012 slime. Um, however, this looks more like the slime or the colour of the use during the uh, original release. Oops. Uh, it's quite a watery feeling slime, uh, so hopefully it'd be nice and easy to clean up for the parents. Uh, I can see kids having a lot of fun with that. I know I will, and I'm, you know, nearly 40. Uh, yes. So there's not really a lot else to add with the slime. Um, it's a fun addition added to the play features uh, or the playability of the line. Um, it's always nice when the slime's included with the set. The only thing I would have perhaps liked is to have had to have dug for the turtle and the slime, um, like the original line did. Uh, though I suspect today's modern health and safety features have probably restricted it for one reason or the other, which is a shame. Uh, so yeah, I don't really have anything else to add with the mutagen ooze. Um, you know, it's not really a lot else to add. Thick 
and sort of oozes nicely uh, without the playset to have a look at this with I can't really say much else so yes moving on all right welcome back um after I had finished the video I was taking off the label for the mutagen ooze and happened to notice that there is a really cool little sticker underneath uh, detailing that it's a radioactive material that is a chemical waste and hazardous there's a nice little crack in there um, so that's a really nice touch and something that didn't need to be done but adds a real play of a uh, real nice display value to it and certainly kids will have a lot more fun being able to play with the tube than pretending that you know it is a radioactive dangerous chemical hello right since our uh, the last part of this video regarding the mutagen news i've been able to pick up two more which i believe touch wood are the red and blue vials while there is no obvious way of seeing which coloured ooze you get, um, if you look closely at the tubs, you can usually see that the packaging is either a little too far up or a little too far down, which gives you an idea of what colour that is. don't think it's showing up here, but that appears to be the red. And yeah, here appears to be the blue. Um, so you should be able to tell fairly easily and when picking them up off the shelves which ooze you are getting. Um, if you're unable to tell the other way, I noticed, and it could have just been the box I was looking with, and everyone else could have a completely different uh, experience, but for me, all of the ooze in the green row of the display uh, all of the ooze in the front of the display case was green second row back was blue and the third row was red so that may also be a way of distinguishing which color ooze you are going to get um, but let's open these up and take a look at the colors so this one should be red and if we open it up we get uh, oh another turtle with another mold uh, this one's sort of head down rather than leaning up and is on two legs uh, paint apps are better on this one with most of the paint going over the entire shell and looking at the color I think that might be Leo Possibly Raph. And yes, it looks like we've definitely got the red ooze here. So you can see here, you know, it's definitely the red ooze, uh, which once you've opened up, actually, I don't know if it's the thing the camera's making it brighter than it actually is, but it's more of a pinky red, uh, very reminiscent of the colour of the. Uh, vintage ooze, which if I remember rightly was sort of a purpley red um, so that's a nice little addition uh, I'm not going to play around with this ooze, uh, we've seen what it's like with the green oh. there you are. finally what should hopefully be the blue ooze, let's see who we've got here we have Another turtle. Oh, thankfully this is different from our others again. Again, the paint apps are a little off, uh, but for the figure you're getting and the fact that it actually does have some paint apps is a nice touch. Uh, this one And I believe this one to be our Leo. Uh, so we've now got three of the four. And here we have our blues. Uh, now correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this might be the first time that 
TMNT has done a blue ooze. It's a nice dark blue uh, with some slight uh, pearl essence in it. Um, yeah, other than that, that's now all three oozes. Um, I may try and get another one to see if I can get the final fourth turtle, um, but we'll see.